Hi everybody, this is Lindsay McCaskey from Gulf Coast Vintage and Thrift and I just wanted to take you along with me as I went shopping at my neighborhood Goodwill. I always love to walk in and look at the art. I love coastal paintings like this. They always have really cool Florida art there. Picked up these Guy Harvey women's swim shorts for $5.19 and I'm about to list them on eBay for around $12, so that was a good deal. I found this gorgeous tartan, as they call it, a tartan, a plaid skirt. It's 100% wool, made in, um, I think it was Quebec. I found this gorgeous dress, Lulu's brand, with the tag still on it for $8. I did end up putting this in my cart, but not buying it later on because I ended up with so much stuff. But I'm always finding new with tags Lulu's brand stuff at this Goodwill. I have a couple of dresses listed now and they haven't sold yet. So that was one of the reasons why I didn't add the gold dress. Okay, so right here I found a women's jumpsuit and I could tell that this was like high quality fabric and sure enough, I used Google Lens right then and there to do some research on the brand. I had never heard of it beyond yoga, but I did see on the tag that the jumpsuit was 100% cotton and it said um, made in the USA. And as you could see from the research I did, they sell for anywhere from like $50 to $140 new. So I definitely ended up getting that and listing it on my eBay store. And here I am looking at all the furniture. One day I really want to learn how to reupholster furniture. I would love to flip some furniture pieces. Like these two chairs were absolutely gorgeous. They just need a new cushion. And then this piece was really interesting. It was um, genuine leather and had this gold stamping of like all the different Egyptian pharaohs. So that was a cool piece. I left it though. I didn't know, I don't need it at home and I didn't think it would sell on eBay. But again, I was obsessed with those chairs. Oh my gosh. I wish I knew how to redo furniture. And this was a beautiful bookshelf as well. I really love furniture, but I do not need any furniture right now, so. Um, yeah, I was just showing a picture there of a really cute brass piece that I got and how I ended up staging it. And I'm going to sell that on my eBay store. And here I am down the basket row with all the wood stuff. There's always beautiful things. And I love, I already said this, but I love looking at the art at this Goodwill. I found this um, framed fabric painting. I bought that for myself because I live in a pink stucco house, so I'm definitely putting this in my kitchen. I took it out of the frame though. Okay guys, this was my favorite find of the day. <laughs> it reminds me of Aladdin's magic lamp. Um, I think those are glass beads. I don't think it's real turquoise and coral, but it looks like it. There's The pieces are missing, of course, but it was my favorite thing that I found. I have it at home and I'm going to list it on eBay, but I'm pretty sure it's like an antique Tibetan vase. I did not end up actually buying this shoe. I, didn't, I had too many things by the end of the day, so <laughs> I had to clear out my cart. I did pick up this ceramic it's unsigned but it's ceramic with a glaze paint and then some metal details it's really beautiful
Okay, so this was my second favorite find of the day. I have always, always wanted to own an antique mirror and brush set like this. I never find them anywhere. Well, maybe like at some expensive antique store, but finding that for $10 was the second score of the trip. And I think I'm going to list them on eBay, but I might not, honestly. I love them so much. Oh man, don't even get me started on this vase. I mean bowl. Um, <laughs> I was very excited when I used Google Lens to look that up. It's Murano glass, it's vintage, it's shaped like a leaf, and it was absolutely beautiful and I got it for $6. This was also a one-of-a-kind piece. I've never seen anything like this. And I immediately looked at the stamp on the base of the bowl and I saw that it was um, also made in Italy. And I just loved like all the details. So I used Google Lens again and I found out that it's um, a um, used as a ice bucket. And look how much it goes for. <laughs> the one that I got did have a chip, so I won't be able to sell it for $170, but I'm still going to list it. Okay, and here I am overwhelmed because it's 30 minutes to closing and then my cart was loaded with stuff and I had to get rid of some things, but this is what I ended up getting. And I'm really proud of being able to downsize a little bit. I had to downsize a lot of the clothes. I ended up just getting the three pairs of shorts and the wool skirt to sell. I had a bunch of dresses that I put back. <laughs> I could not get enough of my Aladdin's lamp. Hi everybody. I just wanted to give a quick update. Um, it's now Sunday and I did that shopping haul on a Tuesday. And um, one of the exciting things about finding all these things at Goodwill is that I sell them on my eBay store. And so I wanted to let you know that the pink dish that I got with the overshot glass, um, it's from the mid century, I think the sixties, it's Murano glass, absolutely beautiful. And it was shaped like a leaf. I did not even have that listed on eBay for a day before it sold. And I ended up selling it for $25 and the and also $8 in shipping. So I made a little over $30 and I bought that for $3.99 at Goodwill. So it's just really exciting to make money doing something that I love. And if you ever see something on these videos that you you like, then please um, go and check out my eBay store. <laughs> Shameless plug. Yes, I have an eBay store. That's kind of why I'm making these videos. Um, everything that I purchase when I'm thrifting is listed on eBay. So I have the link in my about me section on my YouTube page. And um, I love receiving offers from people. So if you see something listed and you're interested, please make me an offer if you're not good with the price and I'll work with you. So I hope you have a great day and God bless everybody.